Hey everyone, Lucas here, hope you're doing well. The open letter has recently reached almost 700 signatories, which I think is an amazing testament to how badly so many of us want to see justice and righteousness rolling like mighty streams of water. If you haven't signed it, I invite you to go to www.againstchristianxenophobia.com and read about this document's efforts to hold accountable uh, Christian nationalists who have incited hatred against Asians in America. But if you have joined us, uh, I want to invite you into a project that is related to the open letter and specifically addresses the Southern Baptists named in the letter. I'm talking about Kevin McCarthy, Ted Cruz, Lindsey Graham, and actually Madison Cawthorn, who is not technically named amongst the uh, letter's 14 highlighted politicians, but who is SBC affiliated and who, as I describe in the updates, has his own history of anti-Asian racism. Uh, so I believe the spirit of the letter demands repentance and accountability from him as well as from his church, Biltmore Church in North Carolina. The reason I'm drawing attention to the SBC is because the SBC's annual meeting is taking place this upcoming weekend, June 13th through the 16th in Nashville, Tennessee. This is an extremely important meeting for the SBC, as they say on their own website, because last year, for the first time in 75 years, they could not meet due to the coronavirus. So this year represents a symbolic effort at reuniting the SBC after that historic break and an attempt to return to form. The SBC is also entering this con convention on the heels of much controversy concerning not only its handling of allegations of sexual abuse, not only its handling of uh, systemic racism, but also the fact that the SBC is associated with Crab Apple Baptist Church, which was the home of Robert Aaron Long, the killer in the Atlanta Spa Massacre. All of these uh, 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 events and controversies are very much on the radar of SBC leaders, however reluctant they might be to admit that in public. Why am I saying this? Well, because I believe that this is a Kairos moment for the SBC. I believe that the SBC can no longer afford to deny or downplay the seriousness of these problems, the seriousness of the injustice that may have gone on under the auspices of the SBC. And I believe most recently, Russell Moore's letter to J.D. Greer outlining how the SBC might have mishandled allegations of sexual abuse only compounds the urgency to, proverbially speaking, strike while the iron is hot. So what I'm inviting you to do is uh, uh, send several of these form letters to the pastors of SBC-affiliated politicians, to J.D. Greer and the SBC Executive Committee, and to the SBC Asian American Collaborative in advance of the annual meeting. Um, these form letters identify you as a signatory. They explain why you signed the letter. They uh, highlight the SBC's stated commitment to opposing racism. And they ask that the addressees do whatever is in their power to call these politicians to repentance and to call their associated churches to action. And as these form letters state, this is not a mantle of matter of quote unquote cancel culture. It's a matter of justice and loving but unwavering calls to transformation. So since the annual meeting is coming up, I invite you as soon as possible, as soon as you can, to send uh, possibly, hopefully, all of these letters to their respective addressees. Use the contact form uh, and or email addresses available in the Google Doc. Um, if you haven't signed the uh, original open letter, I invite you to do so and then join us in making the SBC hear us. Thank you and God bless.